Hello everybody, this is E3PO with another Reason 4.0 tutorial. In this tutorial you will see how to make a pretty good sounding beat and uh, some cool synth sounds to go along with it. Uh, first thing you want to do is obviously find a MIDI controller somewhere. Uh, you can buy MIDI controllers pretty much anywhere these days. Uh, I think Walmart even sells them. I could be wrong. Uh, what you're going to want to do is get a either USB MIDI controller or have some kind of MIDI input interface. Uh, I'm using an SB Live sound card that has a uh, pretty cool connection on the back that you can buy a little fancy adapter for that has a MIDI input and output. Uh, the latency is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with, it, happy with it and it works pretty good for my taste. So I think I said that like four times in a row. Oh, okay. Anyway, I am using a crappy old Casio keyboard to pretty much make all of my songs these days. Uh, it's just con my MIDI controller and that's just what I've kind of grown up with. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, first of all, make a new little document here in uh, Reason 4.0 and just bring over uh, bring over something. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just drag it over. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to be using the Thor Polysonic Synthesizer quite a lot. Synthesizer. And I am going to use Gangster Lead 3, 2, and 1 in this tutorial. So let's just bring three in here, and let's bring two in here, and let's bring one in here. Let's also make a nice bass sound. I'm just going to use this little attack bass. And go on your MIDI controller. I like to right click on these little buttons down here. Which is the record, play, stop, fast forward, rewind, obviously. Edit remote override control. Uh, click learn from control surface input. And on your keyboard, select the very last key. Just like that. Now you have a uh, record button on your keyboard. Pretty much any button on your keyboard that sends MIDI data will be assignable. So now I have a rewind button, a play button, a record button, and need a stop button. Okay, I guess I already have that. Uh, now just click any of these really, and just play along on the keyboard. Uh, I'm just going to make a little bass track here. Just drag this out. On my, make sure you have click and pre click on. Eh, 120, that's fine. So let me just come up with a bass part here. Okay, I got it. So I'm just going to hit record. It's going to give me four clicks and then I'll be in. I did mess up in there somewhere, and I can show you how to fix that. So let's just, first of all, let's quantize this. Right click, quantize notes. Don't know if you saw that, but anyway, it's down there. Trust me. Uh, go in here and figure out where you messed up. I guess this is it right here. Let's see what happens if we move this down a little bit. I guess that kind of works. Uh, okay, well now let's try this synth here. Let's just think of something up here. Okay, 
Okay, that works out for that one. Quantize the notes. And there was a little bass part in here I need to fix. I know right where it is too, because it's that little stupid note. Dun, 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 dun. Let's try that. That works perfectly. And now let's see what this sounds like. Okay, I'll make another track here. up in that too so let's see where that was right there let's see if this fixes it I just need to move this over a bit so that it's lined up let's quantize this first uh, okay let's see how that sounds Needs to be right on the downbeat and dragged all the way out to that. Okay, now let's see how this one sounds. Okay, I can add something with that. loud so let's just go in our rack here and turn that down I think that's two not sure okay now let's add a little drum part to it so let's go in here drag over a drum did it a redrum works and let's change this around a bit okay that should work let's make this a different bass drum sound now I don't really like how that sounds I think there's some in the techno kits actually pop samples I don't really like that bass drum sound, so I'm just going to loop this little area here and find a good bass drum sound. Oh yeah. Okay, now I got a snare part to put in here, so you can just override it pretty much. Please watch part 2 of this tutorial. Thank you.